These are being injected with a vaccine um, to prevent uh, disease and this will be given often mainly to use at pre-lambing if they're already sensitised um, and it's given under the skin and this again is important you need to read your data sheet to see whether it's given under the skin or into the muscle and this particular product is given under the skin as are most of the wormers that we use. Subcutaneous is another word for this sort of injection where we put it under the skin. Now the, the correct, correct thing area uh, to vaccinate um, these ones is halfway under the neck, under the skin. So you, you, go, you part the fleece, pick up the skin, put it under the skin and inject it. And it's quite easy because you've well, well fleeced sheep, you can steady the head by holding the, the parted fleece and that makes it easier to, to find the right spot. It is important with these products, if it says go under the skin, you go under the skin carefully. Because if you go in the muscle with some of the products, then that product will track into the spinal cord and cause the animal great problems. We dose to the heaviest of the, each breed, and if we have mixed breeds, we dose to the heaviest of each of those mixed breeds. Giving injections under the skin subcutaneously is a technique that cannot be rushed. It's not an Olympic sport where you get, try to get to breakfast half an hour before your, your, your neighbour. Many flocks that we know where people just walk through them trying to jab them under the skin without tenting it properly, when you look at those animals you find that at least probably 10-15% have not received the product at all. It's either gone into the wool or they've gone right through the skin and it's gone out the other side. The other route of injection into sheep is the intramuscular one where the product is put into the muscle. The only worm that we uh, inject into the muscularly is Dectamax um, and all the others are under the skin. In this case we have a lame ewe here, it's going to get antibiotic. The injection technique would be exactly the same as if it was a wormer um, and you inject on the, into the neck. Now there's basically a triangle of muscle from here, the uh, jugular veins down there, you don't want to hit the jugular vein, um, and therefore there's a triangle of muscle that runs from there to the shoulder and up. So you try to go to the middle of that, tri of that triangle. So you part the fleece as before, take the cap off the syringe, insert the syringe at right angles and inject. Rub it in when you've finished. There are two products which we have to inject at the base of the ear. This is not an easy technique. The base of the ear is just there and you tent the skin as best you can and you inject into there. Now it's a very difficult technique. If you're racing through 500 or 1000 sheep it is very difficult to do it correctly. And we know from experience that too many people are injecting it other than at the base of the ear, which is going to cause problems with, re with resistance and with withdrawal times. So it's the base of the ear just there. And why? Because this is part of the sheep that is not used in the human food chain.